so that's about yours truly as well, featuring Alley Cat. You can check it out at Facebook.com forward slash African Ali. And like I said, I don't charge for my music, so you can enjoy it at any time. So the moment that we all promise you and we've been waiting for uh, the uh, show is in uh, the lines with us. And uh, I'm going to pass on to uh, my co-host and partner, Travis Whitaker, to let us know who do we have on so you understand uh, what do we got. All right, all right, all right. Now, I'm very, very excited to uh, introduce to you uh, a good friend of mine, someone I, I graduated high school with. And, again, over the last few years, I've seen him uh, literally build his brand from, you know, a couple T-shirts uh, and, you know, having the, the, the New Jersey uh, – symbol, New Jersey state symbol as a logo and, you know, doing some creative things with that. But I've seen it expand into different states. And now he has, uh, you know, celebrities requesting church from him and he's making church for celebrities now. So he's on the move. So uh, no other than CEO of New Jersey Finest Clothing, Mr. Ryan Leonard. What's going on, Ryan? How's doing today? What's up, Chaz? How you doing, man? What's going on, brother? How's everything? Yeah, I know you. Uh, I know you've had a hectic day so far, so uh, I'm glad that you was able to uh, at least be with us for the next 20 minutes or so. So how's everything going, bro? Very good, very good. Sorry for the wait, everybody. I, uh, you know, tried to do some some banking stuff. Some things got a little messed up, but I'm here now. <laughs> uh, I'm just wrapping right, up some right. stuff for, for a little bit of artwork I was doing. Okay, well, I know. Uh, yeah, you gotta get the, get the money right, right? Absolutely. <laughs> that was the problem. It messed <laughs> up, so I had to wait a little bit longer. That's all. <laughs> That's all good. We're all straight now, well, now, though. Man. Well, listen, I, I definitely um, I, I want to get to know, like, what what inspired you to get into fashion, you know, of all industries? I know you're uh, very business-minded. You're very creative. But what, what inspired you to get into fashion? Uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm, I'm just creative as a person as a whole. Um, I came home from Iraq in 2010. Um, I've been into, you know, sneakers, fashion since high school, as you know. I've always been a sneakerhead. Um, I like to dress and, you know, different, be outside of the box. And uh, I just had an idea one day. Literally, I was sitting in the car, and uh, I was like, you know what? I, you know, I put my life on the line for a long time. I did things that, you know, for other people, for my country, for, you know, some things I wanted to do, some things I didn't. And uh, I just said, screw it. Let me try it. You know, I made a phone call, reached out to some people, um, just tried to get a little feedback on how uh, – the business itself works. I had no idea. Um, so I got a few calls back, and uh, I made my first 100 T-shirts in 2009, and I just kind of just sprawled from there. Um, I got my own equipment, you know, started teaching myself everything. Um, pretty much I'm self-taught from top to bottom. You know, I had a little bit of help along the way, you know, a little bit of guidance, but uh, I'm pretty much a graduate of the College of YouTube and hard work, to be honest with you. Um, wow. But, yeah, just – you know, just didn't really want to work for anybody else. I mean, I still do. You know, I do a little bit of side stuff, but uh, I just wanted to take my creativity and, and you know, love for, for fashion and, and design to a different level and, you know, express myself through that. So that's what I did. That's what I'm doing. Kudos to you, bro, because, uh, you know, definitely. There's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of talent, you know, in our area, a lot of different, uh, you know, entrepreneur-minded individuals uh, that are doing different things. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm proud to see that you, you, you you're making. You, I feel like you're paving the way for other people um, that may be a little bit lost. They, they may have the idea, but they just don't know how to make it happen. What do you think is uh, one of the main things you had to overcome that you may not have understood uh, that got you to the next level to where you're at right now? I mean, basically, you just have to. You just have to have that tenacity. You just got to keep going. I mean, I've fallen on my face, you know, a couple different times. You know, I've messed jobs up, I've, you know, in the beginning. You know, you print a thousand shirts and you, you realize something's off. You got to pay that back. You know what I mean? There's, there's you know, it's just the growing and, and the growing pains of it all. You know what I mean? And, and getting through it and, you know, just teaching yourself to not give up. I, and that's one thing that I can say I never have done is give up on myself, give up on my dream. Um, I've been doing this a very short amount of time. I've only, like I said, been home from Iraq for, for five years, and I didn't have anything like this or anything to do with the clothing line before I left. So um, in that short time, I've taught myself everything. So it's really 
really just keep going. You got a, you got a vision. You got a, a good work ethic. You got the heart and the drive to do it. Just do it. I mean, that's really all I can say. It's don't give up on yourself because nobody else is going to help you out if you don't, you know. There's nobody else out there that's going to drive you like you should, you know what I mean? And if you give up on yourself, then everybody else is going to see you giving up and, and give up on you as well. So I've just been really just, just pushing, just pushing the mm-hmm. envelope, you know, grinding. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, hey, um, uh, Ryan, this is Ali Medawi. I've, I've requested you uh, earlier this afternoon on Facebook. I wanted, obviously, to uh, get to look at what you've done. And kudos to you, my man, and congratulations on what you've done thus far. Uh, from a business owner to a business owner, I, I, you know, I can relate a lot to what you're doing. And, and you know, just to, to get to know you and for the masses to get to know who you are, um, just want to know, uh, is this your first business that you, you've ever done? And, uh, you know, what kind of adversity you actually had to overcome? Um, as far as being my, you know, owning a business, uh, yes, this is my first personal business I've ever had. Um, as a kid, my my father owned detail shops and, you know, car detail shops. So I've been running and maintaining someone else's business since I was about 10 years old, to be honest with you. Um, I, I learned... From 10 up until I was 15, I ran his whole business. Uh, he sold that. So I kind of have a background in, you know, the hands-on side of things. But as far as uh, as college goes, I don't have a degree in business. I don't have anything. I just had a an idea and a lot of hard work put into it. Um, you know, basically I just – the only adversity I had was really teaching myself something I had no idea about. And as you know, if you, as a business owner, you know, you may own a business, but you have 35 jobs within that business. You're, you know, you could be a CEO, but, you know, I don't have people that work for me. I have purple people that work with me. You know what I mean? So it's, for me, it's really I had to teach myself everything from graphic design to screen printing to sublimation printing to, you know, photography and, and the markets that go along with all that, plus the fashion industry and marketing and, and everything else. And, uh, you know, just – make everything work pretty much and um i mean that's that's really been the no no doubt you know, the, the Ryan, part. If, I, if i may ask um you you've mentioned that obviously you do everything yourself and that's awesome but do you do you actually have a printing uh manufacturing location or uh, do, you, do you have somebody else for you does that operation side uh, work yeah everything i mean literally when i say i do everything i do everything from the designing to the printing to the shipping to the marketing 100 percent myself from start to finish everything is is all my own machines that i bought with you know no loans from the bank everything was hard work grinding saving money and literally from start to scratch every shirt that you see every design that is made i don't have a graphic designer i don't have anything everything is from my brain to the computer to the canvas or the shirt or whatever the case may be and to the customer from start to scratch well you you now have a marketing team uh helping you out at no cost to you and i just want you to know that what we do is we support local talents and local businesses so anytime you need anything posted or anything like that, just tag Shamar, F-Zone Radio uh, on Instagram, F-Zone Radio on Twitter, or even on Facebook, Free Zone Radio, and he'll blast it out to every single person, and we don't expect any uh, financial gain from you. So I uh, just want to make sure you understand that. No, of course, man. That's the way it should be. Uh, now, wh- where are you located in Jersey? I live, I'm right at the Jersey Shore. I live in actually live in Neptune City, New Jersey. Uh, I also have a... I'm, uh, per, my production shop right now is in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, but uh, everything is going to be located in Neptune City for now. Uh, I'm actually looking to get some some uh, storefront property on Cookman Avenue in Asbury Park. Um, I was actually selling out of uh, one of my friend shops out of there for a while, but to keep my overhead down, I stayed online and you know just did the online thing for a while. But uh, now that we're growing and I, you know I can save a little bit more money, I have the machines paid for. I'm looking to get some storefront um, on Cookman or some, you know, somewhere in Asbury Park since it's coming back to life, and uh, you know, keep it Jersey, keep it right here in the heart of everything. And uh, I just actually became the single copyright owner of uh, Tilly from Asbury Park, which is one of the biggest pieces in New Jersey history or actually Jersey Shore history. So I want to keep it in that same area in that same town to, uh, 
you know, just keep it alive. So that's my next move. Hey, what's up, Ryan? This is uh, Jerome Whitaker here. And uh, I just want to ask you, um, were there any specific designers that you grew up looking up to or that you were inspired by at all? You know, because I know we have a couple from New Jersey, like guys like Mark Echo or whatever. And I was just a little curious, you know, uh, you know, what different designers did you look up to, you know, growing up or whatever? Uh, who were you inspired by? I think I'm, Echo is definitely, Mark Echo is definitely one of, uh, you know, definitely um, somebody I looked up to just for the fact that he started the exact same way that I am, you know, and, you know, he started off in high school, you know, making things for, you know, a couple people and he just blew up. He just recently sold some of his companies. I know a lot of his stores he sold out, um, but he, you know, he liquidated or whatever, but uh, he started exactly how we did, you know, he had a, he had a dream, he had a, you know, the, the aspirations to do it and started in the basement and he grew to, to be a multi multi millionaire. So I definitely always looked up to him. Um, I mean, really, it's just any anybody with any kind of, you know, good fashion sense and, and trends and, you know, uh, obviously, FUBU, Damon, you know what I mean? Damon John, like, obviously, he's on Shark Tank. That's that's a person that I look up to a lot. I watch Shark Tank all the time. But, uh, I mean, not just because we're in the same industry, but just for the same, he, he, he has the same mindset, you know what I mean? And he took something that, a hat, and, you know, some things he liked, and he turned it into a multi-billion dollar industry, so... Those are two definite, uh, definite people I look up to for sure. That's awesome, uh, Ryan. Uh, just so you know, you, you're you're literally trending right now on social media. And uh, Takara Scott at all underscore smiles twenty five uh, is uh, our first list of, uh, first time listener saying storefront coming soon at NJF Clothing. Yay! Uh, so people <laughs> are excited. Is there uh, is there any plans for Couple of storefronts coming soon, uh, and and where do you anticipate this to grow to? Um, yeah, my my like I said, my next goal is to at least get some storefront property in Asbury Park, get it uh, in uh, Cookman Avenue, and I just got a little um, boutique set up. Uh, I'm going to be setting up in Mammoth Mall uh, with another retailer that that sells garments as well. So that'll be um, my first actual, you know, or second actual, I'm sorry, retail store location. Um, and then I really want to just, just go from there, to be honest. I mean, make money, save money, and then just keep opening up whatever I can do and wherever I can expand. Uh, I'm trying to take it all over. Um, I don't just own New Jersey's finest. I actually own the rights to the finest attire. So we're actually looking at Karma Loop. Um, we have a lot of stuff uh, in the works and packages put together for that. And just to uh, hit a bunch of big retail stores with some of the stuff I didn't even uh, show to the public yet. So there's a lot of stuff wow. in the work, but uh, I had to start in the backyard and uh, represent Jersey first and foremost, for sure. <laughs> That's right. definitely right, brother. This is Trav again. I'm proud of you. Now, I, I know that um, you uh, you recently had some, some, uh, some good news. Uh, you know, this is big news. You had uh, someone from a, a radio station. Are you making a T-shirt? Can you explain a little bit to the people what's going on? Yes, I uh, actually I make I make clothing right now for MEV from Power 1051. Uh, we're going to be featuring some shirts that I designed for him on my website for sale. And uh, today I saw a Twitter post from uh, Charlemagne um, that he needed some shirts made. So I reached out to him um, through MEV and. Uh, he put me in contact with Charlemagne this afternoon, and I actually just got done making my first um, T-shirt uh, and design for Charlemagne uh, just about an hour ago. So I'm going to uh, be sending that to Power 1051 Studios and letting him represent, you know, New Jersey's finest and the finest attire. And uh, hopefully, you know, the rest of the crew will jump on board from there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was definitely uh, good news to today for sure. Oh yeah, and I mean, I, I believe that uh, the whole, you know, branding the whole uh, the finest that that's a big deal. That's a big deal because it makes it so much more broad that you can do so many things with it, which I know you will end up being international. So uh, I'm 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 I, I'm inspired. I'm inspired because I I never really got to uh, you know talk to you like this in, in 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 this form of fashion where I can kind of pick your brain a little bit. Um, I'm excited just to see what's to come. I'm excited to get some of your T-shirts to promote it more and to see this brand, this brand grow uh, like I anticipated it to be. And, you know, I know you'll be a multimillionaire uh, eventually. So uh, 
Yeah, I got I got to you know, uh obviously we're 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 coming close on time, but uh Ryan, if if you would uh, do us a favor uh, in two ways. One, if you can just shoot an email uh fzoneradio at gmail dot com with whatever you want us to actually post and put out there and make pos- uh, make available to the public. And two, if you want to plug in anything, any social media, any websites, or if you want to give a shout out to anybody, please take uh, take a minute or so and uh, and, and and plug in whatever uh, is relevant to you. Wait, definitely. Um, if you guys can follow me on Instagram at uh, it's all it's completely spelled out word for word. New Jersey's finest clothing. Um, that's the Instagram you can follow. Um, there's also Facebook. You can find us at New Jersey's finest clothing. Um, and as far as my website, it will be uh, www.njfclothing.com. You can get everything, uh, direct link purchases right there. Uh, usually any new stuff that comes out, I try to post to all my social media uh, sites and the link so you can directly just shoot you right to the, the website. You can purchase and check everything out. And um, as of right now, I, I, that's that's really it. I'll send you guys some stuff to the um, email address that you guys provided. And uh, I'll send you guys some stuff to the station or, you know, you can have them for yourself. Maybe give some stuff away. I'll give you a little package of uh, goodies <laughs> just for yourself. I appreciate that. It means a lot coming from you. And uh, congratulations again to you for literally everything that you've done uh, for yourself and for representing New Jersey. And I believe, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, all of us, uh, you know, want to just say this one last time. Uh, thank you from the bottom of our heart for not only representing, but for uh, laying down the foundation for many other people who might not believe in themselves or think, I cannot do it. Uh, any final words for those individuals who inspire to do something and they feel like they can't? Basically, man, just, you know, you just got to have a strong mind. You know, there's going to be people that tell you you can't, you can't, you can't. Um, I'm basically fueled by those people. I, I love I love when somebody tells me I can't do something because I turn around and do it tenfold. You know what I mean? Um, just basically never give up. You know, keep keep your head on straight. Um, you know, if you got a vision and you got a goal, meet that goal head on. Don't you know? Take any shortcuts. Just do what you got to do to get there. Do it the right way. And uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race. It's not going to happen overnight. So you're going to have to work. But once all that hard work is put in, it feels a lot better when it starts to unfold, for sure. So, No doubt. Well, Ryan, again, thank you very, very much. We're definitely going to do everything to uh, help uh, support the movement and uh, make sure everybody knows who you are, what you stand for, and your brand as well. So, again, on behalf of the Free Zone Radio, thank you so much for your time, and we'll be talking to you soon, my friend. Thank you guys again. You have a good night. Take care. All right, Ryan.